Now, even atheism is faith. An atheist has faith. Now, you say, now, wait a second. An atheist is the absence of faith. No, that's not true. An atheist believes that there is no God. That's a faith. Now, a Christian has faith that there is one, that there is a God, and that we can know Him and that we can worship Him, that we can speak to Him through our prayers and read about Him through the Scripture. An atheist, though, still has faith. Everyone has to have some sort of faith. We think, well, you don't have to have faith in the secular world. Well, listen, let me just ask you this. Do you believe that you'll have a job on Monday? So you have faith in that. What does it take for you to have faith in God? Do you need an explanation where we have it right here? The whole Word of God that shows us that God is true, God is real. If you are uncertain of your eternal life, are you going to spend it with the Lord? Friends, the Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment. Someday you're going to have to give an account. Let this hand right here represent you and me and let this wallet represent all of our deeds, all of our good deeds and all of our bad deeds. The Bible says that all of our righteousness is as filthy rags. All of your goodness is as filthy rags to God. The Bible says God loves us but hates, hates our sin. The Bible says that we here can't make the payment for our own sin. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. It's not church membership. It's not walking an aisle or getting baptized. The wages of sin is death. Someone had to die. 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came to the cross, came to this earth, died on a cross to pay for our sin debt. It's not by, not by being good. It's not by doing good deeds or turning over a new leaf or anything like that. you still got the same leaf, just the other side. What saves us is this hand right here, me representing Jesus Christ, he who knew no sin. Now, what does that mean? Jesus Christ who didn't have sin of himself. If he didn't have a debt to pay, he could pay our debt. Does that make sense? He who knew no sin was made sin for us. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Now God, Jesus, comes to this earth, dies on the cross, is buried, and rose again the third day, and now looks at you and me as righteous as him. Now, how does this transaction happen? How does faith get us heaven? It's when we believe in the quietness of our mind, when we trust Jesus Christ alone. When we believe that he died for us, was buried, and rose again. I love using this verse, Ephesians 2, 8, 9, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, just any mention of You're not going to be standing in heaven one day saying, Lord, I earned this. I did good deeds. He's going to say, you didn't earn anything. I earned it for you. I made the payment for you. There are churches out there today that say you've got to turn from sin. Well, how much sin do you got to turn from? And I can stand out and boast all you and say, I'm a pretty good person. Well, being good is good, but being good does send you to heaven. You've got to be perfect. And the only way we're perfect is when we have Jesus Christ impute his perfectness to our account by faith. That's it. Not only is, is faith our hope, but faith is our help and faith gets us to heaven. The purpose of our faith is important. It does so much more than this. But it certainly does this. It's when you in the quietness of your mind say, the Lord, the best I know how. I believe that Jesus died for me. I believe he was buried and rose again. 